Hello, I'm Bobby Metter, and I'm a network security consultant with AccuData Systems. And today I wanted to speak to you about an upcoming change to your Checkpoint environment. Checkpoint has announced as of October 2015, the online certificates that they use to give you updates for many of their products are going to be changing. So they're updating that infrastructure from a SHA-1 to a SHA-256 based certificate. And in this video, I wanted to go ahead and show you some of the update information in an SK article, as well as to show you a quick demonstration of how we could update an existing checkpoint infrastructure to be ready for that October 2015 change. So I hope you'll enjoy the information I'm going to present and we'll continue on from here. And we're going to actually jump over to the checkpoint website and where I can present some of the information on this SK article. So now we're going to visit the Checkpoint website and we're going to look up the actual SK article. So the easiest way to find this information is to go ahead and utilize Google and to actually search for the SK number. In this case it's SK103839 so we'll go ahead and search and this would be our first hit in the search results. And that's a good tip for any of your SK articles. You can always search Google for the exact number if you happen to know it and it'll take you directly to that link on the Checkpoint website. Now in this actual SK article, it says that Checkpoint is going to update their online services to a SHA-256 based certificate. Now this article is very well written, it gives you a ton of great information. So let's go through and hit some of the highlights. And then I'm going to present an actual installation process of an upgrade to R77.30 on my Gaia platform in order to solve the requirement of updating my certificate to 256. Okay, so as we see, is under the background, it basically states to pro proactively enhance the security of our online services. Checkpoint is planning to migrate to a SHA-256 based certificates as of October 2015. Now some of the products that are affected by this are going to be your th software blades, IPS, threat emulation, threat prevention, application control, and basically any product that actively gets updates from the Checkpoint cloud. And this will also affect your smart update options for pulling down licensing information, that type of options as well. So you'll really need to pay attention to this particular update and make sure that you go ahead and proactively make the change on your infrastructure so it doesn't directly affect you as of October 2015. So as we scroll down here, we can see that this problem was already fixed in Checkpoint R77.30. It also says for lower versions, Checkpoint can supply hotfix. And a lot of the hotfixes are already listed here. So if you go into the actual version that you're working with and you want to be proactive, and if your version is pretty much listed here, you just need to select one of these packages to download it. So we have our actual versions, and then we have the operating systems at the top that it directly correlates with. In this case, I'm currently running R77.20, and if I did not want to update my environment, Checkpoint offers an actual hotfix for R77.20. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and make the update to R77.30, but depending on your release and in this matrix here, you can download the actual hotfix and then apply that against your environment. They've also included some hotfix installation instructions that basically state if you're running Gaia or Secure Platform or Ipso or Windows, for example, there's some instructions that show you exactly how to apply the hotfix, which is very nice. Now, the next thing that we'll see in this particular article is it actually talks about some of the additional products that are available. So if we show or hide the additional products and some of these information directly applies to you, go ahead and visit the actual SK article and make sure that you understand that information as well. Another thing that you'll have to update as part of this package is your actual smart dashboard or your smart console option that's available. So your smart console will be part of the update as well. So you'll apply this update toward all your Checkpoint products. If you're running a Checkpoint Gateway, a Checkpoint Management Server, you're running any of the uh, VSX or Provider 1 products, all those will have to be updated in order to resolve the, the certificate issue. So for us, in this case, now I'm going to show you a basic update. I'm going to go ahead and state for R77.30, I'm going to pull down the update via the Checkpoint Update Services Engine. 
and show you what that brief update will look like in a Checkpoint Gaia deployment. But again, I wanted to present this information to you just to make sure you're informed and you don't get caught in a situation where something's not going to work for you correctly as of October 2015. So now we're going to go ahead and transition over to my Gaia machine and I'm going to show you exactly what the update would look like. So as we log in here, this is basically running Gaia R77.20. It's in a standalone configuration. So I have my management server and my firewall on the same machine. So our machine is basically called Your Firewall and it's running on VMware for now. So what we will do in this particular video to update is we're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom here. And under upgrades, there's an option under status and actions. So we select that. And once we get inside this particular area, this will directly connect to the Checkpoint Cloud and it's going to check for available packages. So this option right here directly shows what would be broken if we don't update our actual certificate. So what it's saying is that this last update for the Checkpoint Services Engine would directly connect out to the Checkpoint Cloud in order to pull down package information. So in this case, what we're going to do is Basically, I'm going to go ahead and close off a couple of these articles or a couple of the yellow things because I have a trial license on the machine for now. And what I want to show you is R77.30 Gaia, the software update package. So basically, I, I went ahead and downloaded that directly from Checkpoint using the Checkpoint Cloud and the Update Services Engine inside of the Gaia web page. So now what I would do in order to install it is I would basically just right click on that particular package and tell it to install the update. And it does tell us after the installation there will be an automatic reboot. So click OK to install the package and reboot. So if you're going to reboot on a production system, you need to make sure you're applying your updates in an outage window where everyone knows that the system's going down for a few minutes. So we'll go ahead and select OK here. And again, what this will do inside the actual checkpoint web page is it'll start the actual installation process and it gives us a lot of great information as it's actually performing that install so it doesn't leave you wondering is it really working is the install moving along as I would expect it to so as we can see it's starting the installation process and it will tell you here over on the right hand side that the package was downloaded successfully and it tells you that the installation of the package requires a CP stop and a reboot process. So again, this would basically install the R77.30 package for me. Once I install this, I'll also need to install the Smart Console package that we talked about in the SK article. And once I perform that, I'm fully update and I'm compliant and I'm ready for October 2015. And the fact that the certificates are change, changing will not directly affect my environment. I would like to thank you for viewing this video, and if you have any more information where we can help you as a security practice, we'd be happy to do so.